Oh, Everything. boys lie. I feel like boys lie. <laughs> it is short. <laughs> <laughs> I breathed in some. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Tandi Gama. If you're new to this channel, thank you so much for tuning in. And if you are a returning subscriber, welcome back, TG gang. So today I am joined <laughs> by none other than she's not new to this channel she's not my annoying no the one and sibling. only christine gama okay the one and only the one and only okay hi guys <laughs> welcome back welcome welcome me back okay thank you so much for joining us today we really appreciate you. your presence thank you so today we are going to be doing a chit chat get ready with us yes. and we are going to be discussing a lot of interesting topics and one of them so happens to be disney plus guys mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. disney plus mm -hmm. do you know what disney plus is do you know I think I have an idea, but I'd like to know what you think. Okay. So Disney Plus is basically the streaming home of Disney, Pixar, Marvel, Star Wars, National Geographic, and many more. So mm -hmm. it's basically like having a Disney vault in your house. Mm -hmm. So if you're like me, who's like one of those people, I've never watched like the Marvel movies in order. Like, you know, apparently you're supposed to watch them in order to like completely understand what the next what movie is about. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So yeah, I'm super excited to be having Disney Plus at home because I can basically watch them from start to finish, mm -hmm. which is basically what I'm going to be doing all winter. I'm basically going to be all oh, snuggled wow. up indoors, oh, wow. you know, with a blanket, popcorn and yeah i've got like a wide variety of movies um series there's so much more that you guys can check out from disney plus so if you haven't checked it out yet i'd definitely say you should do so and guess what we'll leave a link for you guys down below we'll make it easy but right now let's get into the makeup tutorial you guys get to see how we like get we ready. do our makeup totally yeah. different i mean like she lives with a makeup artist but like she's just you know like i live with a makeup artist that never does my face how is that possible how is that possible because you don't like this it when i do your face <sighs> Yeah, I'm very picky, guys. I'm very, I'm one of those people that like things to be done in a specific way that I prefer. So if somebody else does it differently, I find it very difficult to adjust. So Tandy and I had the opportunity to watch two different shows on um, Disney Plus. So what did you watch? Um, I watched Pam and Tommy. Mm -hmm. uh, but before we get into it, let's start by priming our face. Okay, she just stole my primer. Because I don't want to look for mine. Um, I just want to make sure that we have our bases ready for when we like get into the discussion. Because like when it comes to doing your face, like the base is important. Like everything else that comes after really is just helping make whatever's at the bottom, um, you know, look better. But but also before primer, you need to make sure that you actually have like a good skincare routine. So good skincare products and also. Let's not forget our sunscreen, oh. even though it might be winter in South Africa. You still need to make sure you put on your sunscreen. Oh, this feels so good. Like a massage. As you can see, like once you put primer, you can basically see the spots that I didn't put primer and the spots that I did. Mm. There's like a difference. There is a difference in the pores and how they show because I've got a large pores. I think so. Uh, there's this cool thing that's trending everywhere, like how you do your hair. Like, what do they do? You guys. have to like twist it at the back and then like pull it up and then <laughs> use the scrunchie. <laughs> so anyways, um, yeah, the cool thing about this is that, what, it launched on the 18th, hey? Yeah, and we were lucky enough to, to attend, attend the, the event, event, which was super nice. I, I enjoyed it. I'm one of those where I really, really love like events where you can tell that they've put like so much effort. I don't know if you remember when we were there and I was like, oh my gosh, like the person that actually sat down and thought of like all the little things that they should do. There was like bubbles coming from the ceiling. We had like... I felt leaves. like a kid again. Yeah, you basically felt like I a felt kid like again. I felt like I was a kid in a playground and then we were all there Which just was to enjoy. Fun. Yeah. And I think one of uh, my favorite moments also about the event is like actually seeing how adults react to like all these things. We are all kids. We just... We, yeah, we're all kids. Girl, tell them how I influenced you. Like, everything I do, 
You say you're living, you're influenced in this household. I know. So she influenced me with the <laughs> brow pencil. And then foundation um, as well. She influenced me with the foundation. She's also influenced me with my concealers, which I use. Um, influence me with this, guys. If you want something that locks your makeup, try that. Okay. So um, the event, absolutely nice. The theme was um, smart with a touch of Disney. I actually loved how everyone interpreted like the theme in their own way. In their own way. Yeah. And I remember, what did Foyan think I was? <laughs> Foyan thought you were Minnie Mouse. I was like, is that Minnie Mouse because of the black and white? So guys, I'll show you. We'll actually just show you. Um, the video, the like 360. the 360 we, we took at the, um, at the Disney event. So Foyan was like Minnie Mouse. And I was like, no, girl. I was actually going for Cruella because the lipstick kind of was like, and the spots was for like the Dalmatians. And then the red lipstick was for Cruella. I probably should have had like a, a black and white wig and that would have made it more clear. But yeah. I, I really didn't have so much time to prep. You know, I'd just come back and... Um, yeah. Did you miss me while I was gone? No. Now that I realize, I think I didn't. You didn't? I feel like I missed her when she was gone, but as soon as she got back, like, I was just like, I think I'm ready for you to go again. <laughs> so you see how she starts with her brows and I start with my foundation? I yeah, think. it's very, the way we do our makeup is very different. So, yeah. Mm. So, um, I watched, my first stream was um, Pam and Tommy. I was so excited to watch that. Like, you know, growing up, like, we all looked at Pamela Anderson and were like, oh, my gosh, she's such a babe. She's so cute and stuff. So I was like, you know what? This show looks interesting. Let me try that out. What was your first stream? So my first stream, I watched uh, Queen. So it's basically a show that follows uh, four women in their 40s who um, were, like, famous rap queens rap queens yeah in the 90s and then they basically do like a comeback now in like 2020 you know 2022 sorry <laughs> i'm still in 2020 i feel like after 2020 like it doesn't count <laughs> you i'm still living in 2020 like i still need 20 i still need those few months that we were stuck in like lockdown but basically yeah they follow them around and they like make a comeback so it's a very nice show. i really really enjoyed it i would actually say you should watch it if you haven't, so Tandy, that could be your next show. It's probably going to be my next show. Um, it's got like Eve, which is very nice. The music is also very interesting. The fashion, makeup, hair, you'll really, really, really enjoy it. So um, when it comes to my show, Pam and Tommy. So Pam and Tommy is actually a true story following uh, Pamela Anderson and her husband, Tommy Lee, who actually got married within 96 hours of getting to know each other. So it's based on how their sex tape was leaked and, you know, it was just following the journey of them being, like, their life being made public and the paparazzi wanting to know everything. So it really, really is an interesting show to watch if you're someone that's into those type of series. Um... I definitely think you should check it out, Tina. You would probably like. I'll definitely watch it. Mm. So I've moved on to my foundation, and I'm moving on to concealer now, um, so that I can, you know, highlight my face. One thing I've noticed with uh, highlighting your face, there is no, like, one way of doing it. If you are someone, I like, I've seen people that only do like the corners like this and then they do a line here. If that works for you, honey, like do what works for you. Um, there's no one hit wonder. Like everyone should I have feel like it's way. all based on your face. Yeah, it's based on your face. Like the shape of your face, what suits you um, and all of that. So why do you prefer doing your brows before? Um, I feel like it's so much easier for me to conceal them before because I feel like if I do it after, I struggle to conceal and blend out the concealer. Is it because you have bushy brows? Um, I think so. Okay. So it just makes it a lot more difficult, I guess. 
I think. And I think I've, I've always just always done it that way. So it's difficult to now try to learn like a new trick. And it's so weird that we're siblings, but we don't have the same brows. Like, No, we don't. My brows are sparse, guys. Like, I don't have much brows. That's why I've had them microbladed and stuff. Um, and one... Oh, sorry. Mm. One thing that I do is I dab my foundation in. So I don't, like... You know, with the mm. brush, I... Like, if you can see, like... I'll go towards my hairline and just dab it in. And then the middle where your brows meet don't worry i'm gonna get there don't okay. worry don't worry <laughs> you've never seen me leave the house looking like a clown no i've never it's just that like sitting here and actually watching you do your makeup when i've never actually sat to watch you do your makeup is is different um so what made your show very like why did you pick that show like what made it interesting for you so for me i think what was interesting first of all was watching women, you know, women empowerment. Um, black women. Yes, black women. And then the other thing that I enjoyed as well was like seeing like the fashion trends. So like seeing how the 90s fashion trends are now coming back like into fashion. So with the series, like it's one of those where you go back and forth. Mm -hmm. So like you watch like the modern day and then you go back and watch like what happened in the 90s. So like the fashion trends are definitely coming back. It's like a whole lot more. If you've noticed, people are starting to wear more baggy stuff. We are kind of running away from all like wearing tight fitting clothing only. Mm -hmm. um, and then we're going back to like the crop tops the cropped uh, knitted jerseys yeah. or knitted tops. We're going back to wearing more um, like um, jewelry, bigger jewelry. That's like coming back. If you realize there was a time where like, in, even when you've bought earrings, I'm mm -hmm. sure there was a time where you started buying like smaller earrings. Yeah. But these days it's more like, it needs to be there, you know? And we're wearing more color. I feel like we now kind of, <sighs> Just yes. running away from color. just wearing nude. I feel like color is definitely coming back. It which is. is. Like, that's very... one of the things I was looking for when I was, like, trying to pack for, for, for my for, holiday. For Greece. Yeah, I was like, I need color. Like, babes. And even when I went, when I was, like, shopping there, like, when you mentioned the, the styles that you're talking about, when I was shopping there, I mean, I know they're, like, a season ahead, but, like, it made sense. Everything yes. you're talking about, color, crops now you remind me same thing when i went to the zara in qatar yes. it was basically color so if you guys are thinking that in summer or spring you're going to be buying neutrals at zara let me tell you you're going to be buying like color there's a whole lot more like neons coming mm. back and i saw that your the pinks, other time when i went to your zara. oranges everything is just coming back which is super interesting to see that Fashion, and I'm actually like, loving it. It I'm does. Loving it. I'm loving it. I'm loving like the color. Like you know, like there's like reels where like so I saw a reel today. Someone's like, "Oh, you like you don't like pink?" Yeah. And they showed all these different pink fits, and I was like, "Hey, honey, hey." And and I just feel like even when we watch, um, when you think about uh back in the days when we watched Disney, there was just so much color. Exactly. I don't know, I don't know how we all convinced each other that we're all. Like, there's no color in this house, but anyway, that's fine. <laughs> I mean, look at what we're wearing. We're wearing neutrals. We're basically matching the house. <laughs> but um, anyway, I actually love um, being, like, a little bit colorful when I'm out now. It's just so different. It is nice. I love it. Okay, so now we're going to contour. I don't think I've changed contour in it in over like two years. So I'm concealing now, so Tandy, what did you enjoy about Pam and Tommy? Like, what can you tell us? What should we look out for? Um, I think the most interesting thing about it was um, the relationship dynamic and how it's sort of like really similar to how relationships are currently in 2022. I mean, if you think about it, that happened in... Um, 
So their video hit the web in 1997. What video? Their sex tape. Okay. Was released in 1997. And I feel like we also still in a position whereby like you meet someone now and you can move in with them like two, three days later. Yeah, I feel like we shouldn't... Sometimes I feel like people just generally keep like good things away from themselves. <laughs> I feel like if you like someone, just do it. Like life is too short. It is short. <laughs> 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 I breathed in some... <laughs> okay, so, yeah, so... Okay, I'm back and alive now. So I feel like their relationship was so interesting. I li- like, it was interesting to see that they could get married like that quick. Okay. So it was so nice. Like it was literally, like I don't want to give you too many spoilers, mm-hmm. but literally it's just how relationships are right now. We're still in that phase whereby like guys, literally you meet someone and you think, ah, I'm in love, Fedele, like, we're getting married tomorrow. I know. Like, you ever find yourself in that position where, like, you're already thinking about... You think about, the person is the one. Literally. And in your head, you're just like, you know what? If they, if they asked me to marry him tomorrow, I would. <laughs> no, I've never been there yet. You've never? No! Oh, my God. Maybe you haven't met the oh, one yet. Maybe I've got trust issues. You probably have trust issues, bruh. But anyway, I feel like I've been in so many situations where I feel like I, I meet someone and I'm like, oh, my gosh, she's like no, everything. boys lie. I feel like boys lie. <laughs> Why are you like... Are you I feel like, like I can't trust boys. You're like Kim. Because they lie. They'll, like, lie to get you to like them. So but don't trust boys. <laughs> Tommy didn't lie. Like, he was literally... he put. Wait, are they still together? Uh, no. Oh. Well, that's being... That's me telling us. But in real life, I mean, it's based off the... Yeah, it's based off the... So, basically, even if you don't watch the show, you'd know. If you follow... Yeah. Pamela Anderson. But, anyway, and... Like, when you think about it also, né? With how their whole ordeal happened. We're also in a phase where people are so invasive of, like... Um, who you are as a person. Like, mm-hmm. people do spread... Like, people will take your images, like if, let's say, your phone ended up in the hands of somebody else mm. and it had your content of you and your minions that you're madly in love with, you've been taking photos Basically, and stuff. Basically, Kim and Ray J. Yeah, people will literally share that online and that's basically what's happening right now. I mean, like, even... Um, we have paparazzi everywhere lately. I think it's it's sooner or later it is even going to become a thing here in, in this country. But, like, people are obsessed with just sharing um, people's, people's private um, information and making money off of it. So mm-hmm. it was very, very interesting. Now I'm very eager to watch it. Yeah, you should definitely watch it. It's, it's different from a lot of shows that I've seen. Um... I think also one of the reasons why it was interesting is that it was based on a true story. It's like, it's true. And just for me growing up, you know, I, I, didn't, I didn't know that happened. You know, I, I love Pamela, but I think I was too young to know to all know, about yeah. the drama that was happening. So when I looked at Pam, I just knew she was that cute Baywatch Bay black. She had, you know, like that cute bodysuit that she wore. The, and she had the whole running and... And, like, literally everyone looked, like, loved her. So, I love that show. So, guys, I've blended up my face, as you can see. Um, as soon as I've contoured and highlighted, I like to go back with my foundation brush just to make sure that I don't have any harsh lines. So, something interesting that I just saw my sister that reminded me of the show is that a lot of... Oh, how did <laughs> A lot of, like, the hair and makeup trends from the 90s as well are coming back. I was actually just talking about how she was using the, what do you call it? The clip. The hair clip. Those were very famous, I think, in the 90s. Even the hair she has now, even though it's like she's getting ready. This is basically a hairstyle that you could rock. And I think this is something that people used to do a lot in the 90s. So it's like a whole lot more, like, bigger curls and, like, your hair like needs to make a statement. So I think that's something that's super cool. Like is so, that yeah. like your hair style? 
yeah, my hairstyle as well. I think this was very famous, like, in the 90s, you know, having, like, your two hair whatever's on the side and then tying your hair up and like a lot of the half up half down hairstyles have come back as well which i think is super cool i really really like those i like those were my favorite um hairstyles in, in high school and primary so tandy you did the sign up for us how was the the, the process or the procedure um so it was very easy i literally went online and i think it took me about two to th no 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 like five minutes max to sign up and the nice thing i think it thing, would have been less though because you were struggling with your phone oh yes but i feel phone. like it would have been less it's just because like you know after load shedding the network takes a little bit of time to like <sighs> reboot <laughs> so um that's the only reason why i struggled but it took about five minutes and also the nice thing about it is that we can actually connect four different devices mm -hmm. and besides having four devices like if you're a family or like you know like as we have um so it's four devices watching at the same time, time. but you can actually have seven profiles so mm -hmm. if you are a household where you guys are going to put this on one tv but there's like seven people in the house like that's your sisters your mother your brother everyone can have their own profile on that one disney plus um mm -hmm. but that way it doesn't distract like the stuff that you're watching so it's yeah. like i'm watching queens and tandy's watching pam and tommy then or not even just that if we're both watching queens and you're like on a different episode yeah i'm not gonna distract your viewing yeah yeah, yeah true. by coming on there and then starting like getting as far as episode seven and you're like I where was I, sure or... I yeah yeah yeah, yeah. Four. so me and my sister always have different profiles even though we watch we things the same together house. only if we watch like a specific show together and then we're like okay we need to watch it together you can't watch it without me then we'll watch it on like whoever's profile we watch but I think that's super cool. The fact that you can have seven profiles. That's a lot. So, yeah. Who's your profile character? My profile character is from... Is it Enchanted? What's the movie? I think it's a Pixar movie. Let me show you guys. I actually downloaded it on my phone because I wanted to watch uh, something while I was in bed. So, oh, I don't really think you can see... It's like this cute girl, she's like got very nice curly hair. I love her brows because my brows are thick, her brows are thick. I feel like she's just me. You she's know? just, she's just, she's just a little bit of me. So Tandy's going to put a picture somewhere of her. She's yeah. just a bit of me. She's just, just a, a bit, bit of me. <laughs> she's just a bit of me. Like when I was like, I'm creating my profile, I was like to my sister, that, that's me. Yeah, she was literally like, I love her. I love how she looks. You so I actually that, can't wait to watch the, the movie. You even said that when we were at the Disney event when you saw her and you're like, oh my gosh, I she's love so her. She's so pretty. She's so... You even Googled which, which um, um, country, which island she's from. You're like, she looks like she's from the islands. Yes, yeah, so I was like, she looks like she's from the Solomon Islands. <laughs> <laughs> so, and then my Disney, um, my profile is also, is a Disney character. It was, is it Jasmine? Yes. Jasmine. I, I used to, I used to be obsessed with like Disney movies when I was a kid, like princess movies. Like that was, that was me. That was my vibe. That was my, like, like my sister. I look like when Princess it came Jasmine to right TV, now. TV guys, let me tell you guys a story. If Tandy was watching something on TV and you tried to talk to her, like her, her brain was in the TV. That's where I got my creativity from. You'd be like Tandy, Tandy. And she'd be like. You like Tandy. So we all just knew that if Tandy was watching TV, don't talk to her. We wouldn't even try to distract her. This is, I don't know why I don't use my jars for my brushes because it just makes life hard when I'm getting, okay, these are still like in my bag from travel. I have an impact. Girl. Brush. So, you know what I noticed? Um, it felt like both our shows had very, very strong female characters. Mm -hmm. Did you, do you think that's true? Like, did you like that about your show? Yes. Um, like I mentioned that the show is about women who are in their 40s, who are like very famous in the 90s, you know, rap queens. And um, they decided that they were going to come back, you know, mm -hmm. come rain or shine come back and be in the limelight once again get their careers back which i think most women need to realize that even if you've gone like 
you know how some people will give up their career to like raise their children, start mm-hmm. a family. I feel like when you're now at a point where you're ready to come back, you shouldn't feel like you can't or you shouldn't feel like, oh my gosh, I feel like we're now in like a different era because obviously they could have said the 90s are totally different to the, you know, 20, 2000s. 20s or whatever. Um, 2000s, they didn't, 2000s, okay. <laughs> 2020s. <laughs> 2020s. They didn't let that like bring them down. They still, you know, pushed whether having a family or like not. A Disney character. I know. I There's this it. dog. <laughs> Out of all things, a dog. Out of all things, a dog. No, no, no. You were saying, <laughs> I've even forgotten what I was saying. No, you're talking about them being strong. Yes. Yeah, they're very strong women. And I feel like. Yeah, as I mentioned, they didn't let, like, the time get in their way or the fact that now you have a family. You know, they still came and they pushed. And I feel like we should all be like that as women, you know. Don't let the smallest circumstances make you feel like you can't do it. You should always know that. We are women and we're strong. You're strong, black. Yes, strong. Whether you're black, whether you're white, whether you're pink, you're gray. As a woman, you're strong. Okay. Yeah. I totally get that vibe. I also feel like I got that vibe from um, Pam. I feel like um, people were trying to portray her as a certain, like, you know how, okay, yes, we saw her as, like, the model, the cover girl Mm -hmm. and stuff. Like, they didn't give her the benefit of the doubt that she could do more than that. And also, I saw that a lot in her in her character, she was trying to show people that she's just more than a pretty face, you know? Mm. And she also didn't let just that whole thing get in the way of who she was or where she was trying to be. Um, So I loved how strong she was about it because some people would shy away and like literally just be like, you know what? My career is ruined. Everything is done. I'm just going to step away from the public eye. Which is very true now that you say that because... Two of the characters on there have kids, right? Mm -hmm. And um, the one decided to, like, go out. I'm obviously not going to give you guys too much details. She went to, like, the store. And obviously, when you're a mom and you're, like, stressed out. And obviously, now she has a family. She's not going to look the way she looked in the 90s, you know, when she Mm. was, like, all famous and stuff. People were like, is this really you? What happened to you? Like, oh, my gosh. If it was somebody else, I feel like they would have gotten to a point where they're just like, I don't think I can ever come back. Like, people will not accept me. Yes. If they're already judging me by where I am right now, I don't think they'll even give me, like, the time of day to, like, Yes, you know, yes, yes. To make a comeback, so. So, yeah, I think it was so interesting. I, lo- I love, I love um, everything. I definitely want to check out your show now that you've spoken more about it. And for me... I am so, so excited that we have Disney Plus now. I am too. Like, I can't wait to just snuggle up and spend and more of my days indoors. I think that's what we should definitely do after this. Get ready with me. I know, right? Like, get a cup of hot cocoa Who's making with it? almond milk. <laughs> Guys, it's not the same with almond milk. I won't lie. Um, if anyone has already um, gotten... Um, Disney Plus and had their first stream, please do comment down below and let us know what your first show was because we'd obviously love to also check out whatever you guys are watching since we've shared what we watched. Um, it's all so um, exciting. I'm just, I'm just so excited. But I think what we're going to do now is quickly finish off our makeup and you guys just get to see what we both do when completing our faces. Are you ready? Yeah, let's see who's gonna finish first. I feel like you're so much further than I am. Because okay, you're so let's so try, dude. Let's try. Can I have a brush to use my under eye and then I'll try?
before her. <laughs> you were distracting me. No, I didn't. And obviously, to finish off, as I mentioned, to lock it in. You want to lock it. You never take my power. My power. <laughs> Do I look like my, what do you call it, profile avatar? No, apparently you look like a dog as well. Mm -hmm. You look like those dogs that share the spaghetti. What are they called? The face is done, baby! <laughs> One thing about me, I'm very competitive. I will win. You don't play fair. You distract <laughs> others. I did not distract you. I did not distract her at all. I literally finished before you. Yes, it's a miracle. And I was so slow. Like Guys, this you could have finished a long time ago. the first time she's done this in her life. No, I always finish my makeup before you. No, I always finish before you. Hey guys, so we are done with our faces now. I hope you guys enjoyed getting ready with us and seeing how we um, achieve our Shape different <laughs> makeup looks exactly. Um, but yeah, I hope you guys really enjoyed this. And um, if you haven't done so already, please do check out Disney Plus. I really, really do think that you guys will enjoy it. Um, we enjoyed it. We're enjoying it so far and we are planning to enjoy it for the next 12 months because you know. <laughs> if you follow <laughs> us, if you follow our vlogs, you would know. Good you job. would know. But wait, wait, my mic. Oh, it's right there. Okay. All right. So yeah, thank you so much for tuning in, guys. So um, it was really nice having this guest of mine on my channel, and we really appreciate. It wasn't nice. It was amazing. <laughs> You know, it's fun. We it's really amazing. appreciate Disney Plus for partnering up with us on this Thank video. So Thank you so much. So to everybody at home, we'll see you in our next video. Love you lots. Bye. <laughs>